what's going on? It's your boy Big China. I'm with my boy Matthew Kelly, and we're on our way to Big Windy. It's been a couple weeks since we've actually gone out ice fishing due to the Kid Fish Ice Derby. Uh, for all you that don't know, it was actually a big success. So you can always check it out. We raised lots of money there. 40 grand. 40 grand. Today we're actually heading out with the Walleye Association. Walleye Anglers Association of Manitoba. That's our Wham Club that we're both a part of. And today is our family fun day. Uh, we're gonna show you what it's all about. It's a lot of fun. We do this every year. I mean, uh, we'll tell you a little more about the organization and what it's all about. And uh, you know what? If you live in Winnipeg or the surrounding area and you wanna be a part of a really good club, I mean, definitely check it out. This guy in front of me is driving like super slow, which is good because safety is very important. One thing when you're going out on Lake Winnipeg, I always bring this with you just in case. You never know when she blows. You want to make sure you know where the trail is and how to get off the ice safely. So here I am. I'm with my boy Jordan Harder. We met up with him. He came out a little earlier. He was He's usually late, <laughs> but today he's today, on time. You ready? a different story. Today's a different story. You ready to rock this? We're ready to rock. Running a real big plain Jane. Custom live target. Oh yeah. It's plain Jane. My always one of my go-tos. There you go. Look at that beauty. Was the seat. How is it? It's an eater. It's a combo for today. It was a combo last week too. Oh, this is ready to go. Bam! Godfather of Lake Winnipeg, Lee Nolden, and Anna. How are you? We're good. Tell everyone how's it been over there with the Wham Club. We're kind of on the outskirts because we don't want to go with the rest of the group. We're kind of anti-Wham. Well, that's because Garth is a smart fisherman and he knows he knows the area is going to hold fish. But if you get too many guys in one small area, it, it just limits you all competing for the same fish, right? So what Garth and, and uh, his crew have done is they've moved off. They're in the same area. They moved off three, 400 yards. They're steady catching fish. I've been shooting the breeze for about five minutes I think they got four in the ice already so they're doing something right guys it's, it's gonna be kind of a crapshoot the guys are here they're on really good fish and uh, so do we wait them out and have fun catch a pile of fish or do we go for some big ones or do we you know what go uh, leave fish to find fish that's a bit me in the bum a few times doing that <laughs> all right we came up we're at the barbecue <laughs> family friends event here's Wayne G hi everybody this guy is tireless guy he actually was at the Kidfish Derby last week. If you were there, cooking you would have seen how much he cooked. And now he's cooking for everyone here at home. <laughs> no, I'm just, I got the wife cooking today. You just can't get away from it, can you? No, I enjoy cooking. And I'm here with Mark Klimchuk, president of the Walleye Anglers Association of Manitoba. Mark, great event. Can you tell the people out there kind of what this event is? What, what's Wham all about? Uh, Wham is about getting people into fishing, getting kids uh, introduced to it. It's education, uh, conservation. Uh, it's all about having fun, learning new techniques, and actually getting out and enjoying the outdoors here. Man. I'll definitely tell you one thing. I've been a part of Wham for probably about four, five years. I love it. It's made up of such great like guys and girls. They're they're there to share their passion with fishing. Uh, for those that want to know, <laughs> <Whoops>. <laughs> look at that. For those of you guys that want to know, uh, the Wham Club meets every second Wednesday of the month, yep. right? And uh, throughout the winter months, we meet at the Glenlawn Funeral Home. So those in and around Winnipeg and the surrounding areas, you want to come meet a cool club, come check it out. I mean, you get to see this guy. He usually smiles. He's not that... He's yeah. usually, he's, he's, once in a while, I might he, smile. He is. It's now 1 o'clock, about 1.30. We spent the morning part with the Wham group. 
Um, got into a lot of numbers out there and then uh, we had lunch. But we're actually going to push a little further north up the lake because um, we're just catching a lot of like little eaters and stuff like that. We're truck fishing right now because it's, it's cold. I'm cold. This move up north hasn't been too good for us. We haven't really marked much and we haven't caught much up here. We should have stayed down south. Well, there you have it, folks. You know what? It's, uh, it's about 4 o'clock right now and we are packing it in. It's a little cold, a little chilly. Uh, we did do that. We did do that move uh, north of the lake and you know what? Really? Wow. She didn't pay off. Man, she sucked. <laughs> If you like the videos, we're going to keep them coming out. Follow me on Big China Outdoors on YouTube and on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, peace.